And still no uh, concession, Tom, from Stephen Miles. Says, uh, Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Stephen Miles gave the speech. Thought it was a concession speech. No concession. No phone call to congratulate David Christofoli. And as one Labor person just messaged me, it was very Trumpian. Yeah, I've had about five messages from Liberals Stephen, saying that. Stephen <laughs> Trump is how one person <laughs> called it. Um, that was from a Labor person. Well, the other thing, weird thing about it, Kieran, is... The person getting up first is genu generally viewed as the concession speech. So, of course, we're all sitting here going, well, this is the concession speech. He's getting up first. But there's no phone call and no concession. Well, and it's so odd when, you've, when he's had a really good campaign, as we've been mm. wrapping him all night, mm. he's done well, yeah. and then gets up and does And I'm, I'm getting texts from journalists that I know in Brisbane that I can't read out because they're so scathing and uh, to the point in the most colourful language about what they th saw in that uh, speech, you know, go on. But, but he's I'm really confused. hurt. He's damaged himself you, tonight. Yeah, this like is that. the problem. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you just have a rush of blood to the head. You make a stupid call like that and, and you get judged on it forever, you know. Oh, absolutely. I mean, no, no, we, know, we will judge him forever on, on the basis yeah, of yeah. that speech but it, but it in is. terms of what he didn't say in that speech. Uh, more so than what, what he did say. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and yeah. and he, he should have been... Um, you know, gracious. this is a moment, though, for David Christofoli to stand up and be the statesman. It's a bit well, like that one when Malcolm Turnbull came out. Remember in 2016, he had to be <laughs> dragged out of the... I remember it. Yeah, 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 we're all here waiting yep, for him, yep. waiting for him. And all he did was rail against Betty Scare and everything else. It was not the speech you needed to make as yeah. leader at the yeah. end of the campaign. That's certainly... Sadly but so, I'm confused. Yeah. So, is he going to still be Premier on Monday? Because on based on that speech, he thinks he's still going to be Premier on Monday. Oh, I reckon so, tomorrow, tomorrow he'll be... In bed. It was, oh, we saw this in reality, Tasmania, reckon. Beck White, you know, the, oh, I'm resigning now. You know, like tomorrow he'll be out saying I lost. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. There's no alternative here. That was you know, a bullheaded performance. Yeah. Let's face it. Well, I don't think he's organising like a January 6th right. Put it that way. Yeah. Richo said it was a bullheaded performance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hard to uh, top that one, Richo, mm. in terms of your analysis. I think you're bang on with it, to be honest. And well, he's not even close. No. Is he? Well, as, as James you has know. been saying, they're going to probably have a five in front of their their, oh. their number of seats. 49, Definitely maybe, a majority. Yeah. No, I'm going to say it's going to have a five. There are many pathways. Yeah. Uh, there, I, I'm, as I'm starting out. to come around to... You've been but consistent all night, mate. Yeah, yeah. he has. Yeah. You, guys yeah. Started, you guys started the night fighting, now you're friends. Well, well we're, still well, no, we're still fighting. Anyway, yeah. he's, he, 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 so. Because he, he's got to wake up and smell the coffee about what has to happen in the future. 